What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more ranked competitive double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Kyogre team, not just any Kyogre team, a weakness policy Kyogre team that features support Confi and one of my favorite Pokemons to use on the rank ladder, Toga tomorrow. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Get on top of that right now. Do it real quick. Only takes two seconds of your guys' time. Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. But like I said, today we're rocking out with Kyogre, and not just any Kyogre, weakness policy Kyogre. This kind of threw me off a little bit when I first saw the team, considering I never used it before. So we're probably going to be using Kyogre a lot and Dynamaxing it more than we usually do. But let's get started here with that team preview. Kyogre right here, weakness policy, Jersey Let's its ability, and then a fairly normal moveset with Water Spout, Thunder, Ice Beam, Protect. The only difference, like I said, is weakness policy, and we're going to be Dynamaxing this Pokemon a lot more. Because, you know, once we proc uh, policy, we'll just Dynamax and probably sweep out the battle. Or if we're not Dynamax, maybe we can get off some Water Spouts and get off some big damage with that. But next Pokemon is going to be Confi. Confi's here just for a little bit of support. Triage, Citrus Berry as its ability and item. We got Giga Drain to proc weakness policy, helping hand to make ally Pokemon do more damage. Floral healing to uh, heal ally Pokemon. And last but not least, ally switch just to switch positions and protect your ally Pokemon. So this Pokemon is basically here to proc policy and help out ally Pokemon. That is legit all it's here for. Middle left, or not middle left, yeah, middle left. <laughs> middle left is going to be Urshifu over here with that Unseen Fist and Choice Scarf. This thing is going to be able to outspeed pretty much everything and do some big damage in the rain considering it has Surgeon Strikes and Aqua Jet, which are both stab. We also have Close Combat for stab, which is big stab damage, and Ice Punch lasts for final coverage move. Middle right is going to be the one and only Toga tomorrow. And like I said, one of my favorite Pokemon to use on the rank ladder. Just super, super fun and super off meta. So that's why I like using it. It is Steel and Electric type with Lightning Rod. So you can actually protect your Kai Ogre a lot with this. And we got that Focus Dash so we don't get one tap. Iron Head and Volt Switch for stab and pivoting out. Fake out for flinches and Spiky Shield for protect and dealing damage on physical attackers. Bottom left is going to be Landers. And Landers is going to be our Life Orb Pokemon. It's got Intimidate, obviously, with Earth Power, EQ, Fly, and Protect. Last Pokemon for the squad is going to be the one and only Boom. This Pokemon, it's too good not to bring on this team. It just works perfectly with all these Pokemon. So I really do like having this Pokemon in the back end. We got Grassy Surge for Surge Control. Rose Incense, you know, it works as a Miracle Seed to give us a 20% Grass Move uh, increase. And then we got Grassy Guide for Sab. Fake Out for Flinches, Taunt to Taunt Opposing Support Mods, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this weakness policy Kyogre and Toga tomorrow team. I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling like an easy winning record or probably a perfect record for today's video. So let's get started with this one in battle number one. We're going up against a Yvelta team that features Volcarona, Nihilego, Landorus, Rotom Wash, and last but not least, Support Grimstar. If I had to guess, Support Grimstar. But how should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like kind of just proccing weakness policy and getting after it. I'm trying to think who could he lead? He could lead Nihilego. He could lead uh, Landorus. He could lead Rotom Wash as well, but we do have Lightning Rod. So I could go in with these two. I could go in with these two and kind of just get after the battle that way. Maybe just, uh, you know, Volt Switch out. But I do really like Toga tomorrow. But I think I'm just going to lead the Confi alongside with Kyogre combo. Just try to get weakness policy proc, considering I've never used it before. Um, back end Pokemon, got to bring Rillaboom. Rillaboom just works super, super well up against a lot of these Pokemon. So Rillaboom is going to come down here. And then last but not least, I'm thinking Choice Scarf Urshfu. Right? Feeling good with that one, right? Urshfu's just too good. He's just too good. So let's lock this one in here. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But guys, let me know for question of the day, what sports team or sports teams do you guys or are your favorite to root for? Are your favorite to root for? I would love to get you guys answers in the comment section down below because I just went to a Pittsburgh Penguins game and they're my favorite team to root for. And it was a blast. It was such a good time. My team ended up winning 6-2. It was actually against Philadelphia. If any guys root for Philly or Pittsburgh, let me know in the comment section down below. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I was just at the Philadelphia Stadium rooting for my team, and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And I got a good story, which I'm going to tell in just a little bit. It's actually hilarious. It's actually hilarious. But let's get started here. We're going up against Rotom alongside with, uh, with what's it called? With Grimstone. So I could ally switch. I could Giga Drain and Dynamax, which could be pretty good. I think he is just going to go into a Thunder move. So you know what? I might just go into a Helping Hand and take out that Rotom. I mean, if he procs policy, we really wouldn't have to. But I really do wonder what he's going for here. Hmm. What's my play here? What is my play? I think I'm going to ally. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to ally. So I'm going to let him actually proc policy. I'm going to helping hand. Because if we outspeed, that's wonderful. I'm going to helping hand. And I'm just going to go for the KO here. I'm just going to go for the max lightning. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to helping hand. I'm going to go for the max lightning. I'm not sure if we outspeed this Rotom. 
We're just gonna Dynamax here. If we have to proc policy next turn, that's exactly what we'll do. But I'm thinking maybe the Rotom Alice will use and proc the policy on his own with like a Thunderbolt or something. So that could be pretty cool. That could be pretty cool. It could save us a turn and we won't have to deal double damage to our Pokemon by hitting it with a policy proc and then Rotom hitting this one super effective move. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. But Dynamax and Kyogre, something that you don't really ever see considering you just use Water Spell with it most likely. With a helping hand to sing. And if we can get rid of Rotom, we could be sitting in a wonderful position here. He's gonna trick me actually. Oh, wow. It's actually scary. He's gonna give me a Jack Bun. Lagging Tail. He's gonna wag lag and tail me and now Thunderbolt me. So we do not have policy. That's tough news. It's actually a great move by him. A real good move by him. So I don't think we'll be able to kill this Rotom, will we? We do not. But a Giga Drain should be able to come in here from our what's it called? From our Comfy and pretty much just KO that. And then we can just uh geyser. Oh never mind. He's he's obviously Stitch's Barry, so it's gonna be tough. I still think we're gonna go in that and see how much damage we can do. So we'll see. It's not stab, but we'll see how much damage we can do. We can start chipping away on that. So we'll do that. I'll go into a geyser, get some stab damage rolling on the Grim Snarl, and then we'll go from there. But nice little play by him. Takes off my weakness policy and gives me a lagging tail. That's tough news, but hopefully we can still, you know, get some work done and grab ourselves a win here. Giga Drain's gonna poke out here and do a great amount of damage. It would have kill killed him if he didn't have to hit berry, but we'll take him out next turn. He's gonna end up fake tearing me, and I still think that we eat this up. I still think we eat up whatever shot he has here. Thunderbolt's gonna come out here. And yeah, we do eat up all day. So I could floor heal. I could swap out next turn. It really depends how this one goes. I'm thinking of maybe swapping out just so I can uh, be a little fast. But guys, you can come out here and it still picks up the easy KO. Kyogre is just too strong here. He's just too strong. Lagging Tails makes us slower than everything. So it's a little tough, but we're, we're, we're doing some work here. Considering Giga Drain is going to be able to take out this Rotom. I could guard. I could swap. And he's going to go in the Volcarona here. And I'm kind of with that. I'm actually my ally switch here. Or do I Giga Drain and protect? So I'm thinking of Giga Drain and just guarding. But you know what? Let's go into the ally switch here. And let's go into a geyser. What do we think is going to happen here? What do we think is going to happen here? So I could floral heal, but a Thunderbolt still KOs me. I'm going to ally switch. Hopefully he's not expecting it. Rotom's going to protect, so that's a great turn by us. That's a great turn by us, I think. I think that's a great turn because I think Volcarona comes towards my Kyogre and tries to take out him. This could be a huge turn if we get off a of Geyser here. He's going to go for Struggle Bug and he still goes after Kyogre, which is awesome. Which is awesome. We're able to eat that eat that up all day and he's going to get a special attack chop, but I still think that this Max Geyser does take out the Volcarona. So this could be awesome. This could be awesome. This could be a great start to the battle. Even though we take my weakness policy, we're still outplaying him. Oh my god, yo, that's GG's. That is GG's. We're going to be able to take out Rotom instantly with this Giga Drain here. We get first turn priority. And now it's legit just a 2v or a 4v1, basically. 4v1. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. And he's going to throw out Yvelta, who is obviously going to be his Dynamax Pokemon. And we have some two very good Pokemon in the back, like our Urshfu. And who else did we bring? And we brought our, uh, oh, whatchamacallit. What's his name? The Rillaboom. But Rillaboom is going to get dumped on by him. Hopefully we can get some work done. So Thunder is obviously going to come out here. It's 100% in the rain. And we're just going to go for a Giga Drain here. I could obviously Floral Healing him, but it's really not worth it. It's really not worth it. Giga Drain's going to poke here. We're going to finish off the short time. Get on out my face. And battle number one, we're getting off to a strong start. Like I said in the beginning, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling an easy winning record or potentially a perfect record for this team. Now, this team is powerful. It's a really strong team. This thing's going to end up snarling. Can you eat that up, Kyogre? Kyogre does not eat up. Okay, that's cool. So we just drop a special attack. I think we just bring out our... Uh, I think we just bring out our Urshifu while we have some uh, rain left. Let me just get after it that way. Because I could bring you in here. I do have Ice Punch, which is good. And I wonder what does more damage. I wonder what does more damage. Is it going to be Surge and Strikes, which guarantee crits, stab in, in the rain, or a super effective non-stab move? I think Surge and Strikes would do more, right? This will be double. This will be like 150. But this gets a stab boost, which is 1.5. Oh, and it hits three times with a crit. I got to go for Surge of Strikes here, right? Someone let me know in the comment section down below what would have done more damage. But we're going to use that. And do I just ally switch? You know, I'm going to Helping Hand this thing. Actually, we'll, I don't think Helping Hand will come out first, will it? Oh, it does. That's awesome. So we're going to Helping Hand this thing as well. We're trying to get off some big damage. He's going to decide not to Dynamax. No Dynamax from him. Surge of Strikes is popping here. And I think this should pretty much pick up the KO, right? He's not Dynamaxing. There's one. Oh, it's going to be cutting it close gonna be kind of close but i think we have it yeah that's all day that is all day what a first battle dominated with kyogre didn't even get the proc the weakness policy and still got to show off the power of that pokemon in dynamax form then urshfu comes in that back end and just cleans up the battle that first battle was light work
absolute light work. They took our weakest policy and we still dominated with it. We still dominated with that Kyogre in Dynamax form, but we're hopping into our second battle, going up against another Kyogre team with Rotom Heat, Zapdos, Ferrothorn, Landorus, and Grimstone. So pretty solid team, a lot of lightning. We got to bring in our token tomorrow. We got to bring in our token tomorrow with that lightning rod. So I am going to end up leading that Pokemon. Could be really, really good. I might bring Kyogre just as a lead. Hmm, do I do that? Set rain and kind of just get after it that way because he can't hit me with any electric moves. Which could be wonderful. Which could indeed be wonderful. I do dig it. I do dig that. So you know what? We're going to go in with them too. We're going to bring Rillaboom. I think Rillaboom could be good in the back end. And then last but not least, we could go Urshifu. Or I could just lead Urshifu. I could lead Urshifu because Urshifu could be really, really good. But I'd rather get him in there with the rain. So do I go Landers or do I go Urshifu here? I mean, Lando's not bad. Lando is not bad. I kind of want Landorus. Might not even end up bringing Kyogre here. No, we're going to bring Kyogre. We're going to bring Landorus instead of Urshifu. I just like having that Life Orb, and I feel like it works well up against a few of these Pokemon. So I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. But guys, like I said in the first uh, battle, I had a great story to tell you, and I didn't even get into it. So yesterday, by the time of this recording, I went to my favorite team's game. My favorite sports team's the Pittsburgh Penguins. I went to the game in Philadelphia, and I ended up catching a puck. I ended up catching a puck, and it's so funny because, like, when do you ever catch a puck? It's like catching a foul ball. It's like it's like one in thousands of chances, and I was sitting there before the game. I brought two of my buddies. I was like, yo, I'm catching a puck today. I just have a feeling, and I kid you not, tipped off uh, some guy's stick. Actually, my favorite player was past it, which was hilarious, so tipped off the guy's stick, and it's coming, like, a little bit, a couple rows in front of me, hits off some lady's head, and just smokes me in the hands. I'm like, oh! Right off the lady's head, it was so funny, and I catch it. And the funny part is, like, if I looked across the arena, my brother was actually there with all of his friends, and they were, like, straight across on the other side of the ring. And they just, like, look up, and they, like, put their hands up, and I just, like, put my hand up like this with the puck, and then everyone's like, yeah! They're, they're across the arena, like, yeah! <laughs> it was just so funny, but I just think it's super cool. Call it a puck. How many people can say that? From their favorite player. Come on, man. Can't go wrong with that. But he's going to end up leading Landorus alongside with Ferrothorn, which I'm cool with. I think we just maybe fake out the Ferrothorn. Or I could hard swap. I could go here. I could Dynamax as well, but I'm thinking of just hard swapping. Or maybe just going into a water spout. I could go into a water spout, which could be good. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to end up going into water spout. He might Dynamax the Lando. I can definitely see that happening. He's going to end up Dynamax the Landers. Okay, that's fine. Does Kyogre outspeed Lando? That's tough news. It might not. That's why I wish we kind of had like Nuzzle on this thing to slow down some Pokemon, but Nuzzle wouldn't work on Landers. But it's still fine. I'm still fine with this. I wonder what he's going for here. Maybe a Max Quake? We are faking out the Ferrothorn. And I could hard swap my Kyogre after this. I could hard swap my Kyogre. So he's going to end up Dynamax. And I can Dynamax my Lando in a little bit. And he's going to protect Ferrothorn. So not a bad play. Not a bad play. Fake out's just going to dip out on the side. And we're going to try to get off this water spout. Do we outspeed that thing? I don't think we do. We do not. And he's just going to go for a Quake. Go after Togi tomorrow. Go after Togi. He does go after Togi. That's huge. That is huge. We have our Focus Ash Pokemon. He does get a special defense boost. But we are going to get off a huge water spout onto this Pokemon. That's a huge water spout. That's a huge water spout. Big old water spout coming out here. Big old water spout. Getting blocked by a fire throw, and that's all good. He was going to soak that up anyway. But a super effective shot here? Come on, man. What more could you ask for? Like, look at that damage. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. In this case, we're going right to here. I don't care if Token Amara goes down at this point, and I might just protect you, or I could end up hard swapping you. Could hard swap into Lando, thinking he's going for a quake. Could definitely go for a quake, right? He could definitely go for a quake, so I'm kind of with this. I'm kind of with this, right? Let's see if he, let's see if we can get this guy going for a quake. Because if he goes for a quake here, we have an easy Dynamax kill. We have an easy Dynamax kill. But yo, getting started off strong. He ends up targeting my Togi. Maybe thinking I'm going for a protect here. That's what I think he thought. So we get off intimidates on two physical attackers. That's great all around. And what's he gonna go for here? Togi tomorrow out speeds. Take him out, Togi. Togi, no! No! We read the Max Quake, though, but Togi, no! <laughs> it's all good. I'm with this all day. He's going to Iron Defense. He's going to go plus two. Uh, Togi tomorrow outspeeds everything, so I'm just going to Iron Head into Lando yet again, which is totally fine. We're going to go here, and then, more importantly, we're just going to Dynamax, right? And go into a Quake, or do we take speed? Or do we save our Dynamax? I might just save my Dynamax here. I'm thinking of just saving my Dynamax here. Maybe just going for an Earth Power? Because we do have, uh, Kyogre's going to have to be the one to take off Ferrothorn. That's kind of scary. Let's see how this one plays out here. Let's see how this one plays out here. Because he is Iron Defense boosting, he's probably going to start lead seeding. And kind of getting after the battle that way. So we'll see. 
We'll see. I just don't I just don't think Dynamax and this uh Lando right here is a smart play. So Earth Power's gonna come out here and that thing soaks up all day. That's just easy soaks for him. And I think I'm gonna Volt switch out. I'm gonna go for an iron defense again. It's fine. That's fine. Like I said, Kyogre's gonna have to come in here at Dynamax and take out the Ferrothorn. That that's the reason we're not we're not Dynamax right here. That's the reason we are not Dynamax. And so I'm gonna Volt switch out. My Togi just have fake out later in the match. And I wonder who he's gonna bring in here. Maybe he's Kyogre back? He could. Did he lead Kyogre or did. Wait, why is it rain? He, he led Kyogre, right? Am I, am I correct or no? Why? Wait. Did he lead Kyogre? No, we didn't. We led Kyogre? Did, did we. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. What, what happened here? Oh, yeah. We led Kyogre. We led Kyogre. We set the rain. <laughs> we set the rain. He probably has to figure out Raid to roll. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to Volt Switch out here. I'm going to try to Volt Switch here and. Uh, Let's go for an Earth Power over on the here. We'd like Kyogre. I was wondering. <laughs> I was like, does he have Kyogre? But we ended up leading him. He's going to drop a light screen. That's totally fine. We out to speed. I think Ferrothorn's just going to set up a special or Iron Defense. Or we might Leech Seed. Something along those lines. But we're Volt Switching out. We're pivoting. And we're going to get Inner Kyogre. We have to get Inner Kyogre. He's trying to set up this little thing. We could go here. Our play's going to be Kyogre. Dynamax Kyogre with that weakness policy. If he wants to proc it, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. But we have to start chipping away on this Ferrothorn with some special attacking shots. And it's great that he doesn't have Dynamax anymore. It really works out in our favor. Earth Power is going to poke through here. Get off some decent damage onto this Grimstarl. Actually, not as much as I thought it would. Not as much as I thought it would. We are Orb. He just soaks. And he is going to start setting up seeds. So there's this thing's play. He sets up seeds. I think I'm going to swap you now. I could definitely swap the Lando. Just to get the lead seeds off. And then go into like a... Go into a hailstorm? Is hailstorm gonna be our play? Hmm. Is hailstorm gonna be our play? Yeah, well, like I said, we have to start tackling this thing. Could we go for a straight geyser? We know we outspeed both these guys. Might be my. It honestly, might be my play. No, I have to Dynamax him. Could go for the hailstorm. We could go for the lightning. Hmm. It's a Gene's play here. I'm gonna go for this hailstorm. We got, we got to get after this thing. And, and then we just have to swap this guy. I do not want to swap to the terrain. I'm going to swap to my... Uh, I'm going to swap to my Togi. Even though Togi might go down here. If he doesn't, we get off a nice, uh, a nice, lovely fake out next turn, which could be big. But I just need that lead seed off my off my Pokemon. This one's actually going to be pretty good. This Ferrothorn is really posing a threat. Maybe I should have started targeting down the other Pokemon. I was honestly thinking of just geysering in the Grimstar and taking them out. Or maybe just water spouting. But I need to take some turns off the board. I need to get some big damage off the, onto the side fire thorn. So we're going to Dynamax Kai over here. Hopefully, maybe he'll proc my policy next turn. That could be big for us. That could be real big for us. What's he going to end up going for? No protect comes out for him, so that's huge. We get off a nice little hailstorm, which should be able to do a nice little chunk of damage. Let's see. No, not even close. This thing's scaring me. It's just scaring me. We definitely should have brought our Urshfu. It's just free crits, which would go through his uh, defense boost. And this thing is scaring me. Oh, no. Oh no, what's he going for here? Is he seeding me? He might lead seed me. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Okay, we gotta get after every single other Pokemon. And we kill our token tomorrow with the buff. So, oh my lord. Alright, let's do this. Let's get after this, guys. This one's tough. We're, we're gonna need some crits. We're gonna need some critical hits to take out this Ferrothorn. Oh my lord. Or at least maybe he can proc a policy. Oh, dude, this is so tough. This is so tough. This is tough, dude. Ferrothorn, we're gonna clutch up. Oh my god, I think we're just gonna hit, sit here for a stall battle with Ferrothorn. Should have brought our Urshifu. Should have brought our Urshifu. So, in this case, we just go into you, maybe, right? Do we bring out you? Hmm. We're gonna bring out, we're gonna bring out you. We're gonna go into you. And I can just start gliding. I can do a decent amount here. But we definitely have to go for a geyser into, uh. Well, we're gonna double down the Grim Snarl. We're gonna double down the Grim Snarl, and I might. Yeah, I have to double down the Grimstarl. So I can see Ferrothorn maybe protecting here. He has Leech Seed set up. So we're going to we're gonna change the weather back to uh, water. And we're just going to go into a Grassy Rod. No fake out needed. No fake out needed. Actually, we probably should have faked him out. But I just think a minus one Max Geyser isn't going to do too, too much. So Glide's going to poke here. Get off some huge damage. Oh my god, almost picked up the KO. Almost picked up the KO. That could have been a good KO. It's just so we can slide off and get some more damage on the Ferrothorn. But we're going to end up Geysering on him. Taking him out. And making a spirit break not come our way. Because we couldn't deal with a spirit break. We just couldn't. 
We just couldn't. And this Ferrothorn is soaking up, dude. This thing's beefy, bro. I proc my policy, please. Just for an iron defense. Oh my lord! What is this? Okay. Dude, he might just be able to stall out all day. All day, right? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do here? What are we going to do? This is terrifying. This is terrifying. Okay, so he has to bring out his last Pokemon, which he cannot Dynamax. And I think we just double down on him, right? We just go for a geyser into a uh, grassy glide. Let's see. It's gonna be Zapdos, and yeah, we, we have to double down into this Pokemon here. I'm geysering. I'm geysering. And I'll glide. We'll go for it. Hopefully he doesn't protect. This bird is scaring me. Okay, he doesn't protect. Hopefully we can KO this thing. We got off some huge damage there. And I think the bird might outspeed us. And this is actually good. He procs our policy. He procs our policy. This could bring us right back into this game. As long as Ferrothorn doesn't doesn't attack me, we're gonna really see what Ferrothorn's gonna do here. You're gonna go for like a gyro ball. I think he he has to have a what's that move? What's that move where it's just like the greater de the defense is, the better it is. So now we're plus one on special attack, which is pretty good. What is it? It's not body slam. It's uh what is it called? Body press. That's what it is. So he has body press. How much damage is that gonna do? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We don't like this one bit. We don't like this one bit. Is this Ferrothorn really gonna clutch up? Oh my lord. Is his Ferrothorn really gonna clutch up here? Please don't tell me his Ferrothorn clutches up. I think it is gonna clutch up. This is a tough battle for us. We played good, but we, we brought in the wrong Pokemon. We needed our Urshfu here. We made last second call going into Landers, and it just did not work out. It just did not work out in our favor. Because having Urshfu over this Landers here would have been phenomenal. Would have been phenomenal. But we're just going to go into an Ice Beam here. And get rolling with that. Ice Beam into just Earth Power, I guess. Just Earth Power. That's why it's not doing a lot. It's special attacking. Might actually go into a Fly here. Fly might be our play. Maybe he protects his turn, which could be huge if he protects his turn. He does. That's great. That's a great turn by us. I'll take it all day. Because now we can't protect this Fly. Now we cannot protect this Fly. But he is defensive bulk, so I think going into our special defensive shot would have been our best bet. Or special attacking shot was probably our best bet. So, we're going to get some HP back. He's just going to slowly Leech Seed us out here. And there's no way of us taking off Leech Seed. But the real the real question is, how much is this Ice Beam going to actually do? How much is this Ice Beam actually going to do here? I could have maybe protected you. See, because he's going to body press this turn. Well, he's going to come in hot. He's plus six, isn't he? He's going to do no damage. <laughs> Ice Beam. Give me a freeze, yo. Give me a freeze. We need a freeze here. We need a freeze. Life Orb and Iron Barbs are poking out here. Give me a freeze, yo. We need a big old Kyogre freeze here. Ice Beam flying here. That's doing nothing. That's doing nothing. He's just going to lead seed. It's GG's. I'm running this battle. I'm running this battle. Come on, man. What you mean? What you mean? Solid battle by us. But yo, dude. Ferrothorn setting up like this. It's just overpowered sometimes. Especially when we picked the wrong squad for Ferrothorn. It's just... He got set up. It was over with. It was over with after he set up the first iron defense. I kind of saw that coming. But even if we get a freeze, he can just lead seed us out. And it's going to be over with. Because lead seed does so much uh, damage. He has the grassy train giving him HP. He has two lead seeds. Like, look at this. It's just nasty. It's just a nasty combo. And we can't do anything about it. So, your boy's running. And you know what I said in the beginning? I said I'm feeling good. And we're either getting a winning record or perfect record. Perfect record's off the table now. But we're going to grab ourselves a winning record in battle number three. We're going to need some magic carp luck here in battle number three. We're grabbing ourselves a winning record. That's a promise. That's a promise right here. This guy is a very, very strong Kyogre team that features Tornados for Tailwind and Rain Dance. And then he also has the Incineroar, G Max Pikachu, Togekiss, and Rillaboom. And Rillaboom. Okay, how should I play this one? How should I go into this one? I could end up leading uh, Rillaboom just to taunt a few Pokemon, but I feel like he might lead Incineroar maybe for Fake Out. Something along those lines. What's called Cook Come Out here? Uh, Thunderous. Thunders could definitely come out here. I definitely want to lead, uh, not Thunders, uh, Tornadus. Tornadus could definitely come out here. I definitely want to lead, uh, you. We do have Lightning Rod just to protect this, uh, Kyogre from Pikachu. I could go Kyogre here as well. But he could end up leading the Rillaboom. He could end up leading the Rillaboom. And if he does, I mean, we can just fake it out turn one and kind of get after it that way. Which could be our play. Just fake it out because we know Togemar outspeeds it and then maybe go for an Ice Beam. But it really depends who he goes into. So this is going to be my lead Kyogre alongside with Ty Token tomorrow, And then we're going to have Rillaboom. And last but not least. Last but not least. Do we bring Landers? Or I think we want Urshfu. 
I think I want Urshfu. I really do like Urshfu, even though that Robum's kind of scaring me. I just think Urshfu could be a little bit better. Actually, hmm. I'm going to go Landers. I am going to go Landers. I do like Landers here. Max Quake could do damage onto the Pikachu. We have the air move for the uh, Rillaboom. He can do work onto the Incineroar as well. So I'm really digging him. I'm really digging him here. I do wish we were rocking out with the Rock Slide instead of Earth Power because, you know, it's just a little bit better. Just a little bit better with the moveset, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We got the Carp Luck going here. Let's get after it, guys. Let's get after this one. Let's see who he leads. He's going to end up leading Pikachu, which is totally fine by me, alongside Landers because we do have Lightning Rod on our Togi Wogi. But he does have a Grass move on his... uh. On his Pikachu, right? I could fake out the Pikachu, but I'm going to fake out the Tornadus. I'm going to fake out the Tornadus, and I might Dynamax you. Dynamax you. Or do I just go straight into a Water Spell? He does have Grass Move. He does have a Grass Move, right? Usually rocks out with Grass Knight, and I think I'm going to end up Dynamaxing. And just going into a Geyser here. Or do I just take out you? What's my play? Because if he rocks Policy, I'm it's fine. This Pikachu is obviously going to be faster, but he can't go into a lightning move. We know that. We know that for a fact. Hmm. Let's get after his Pikachu. Pikachu's probably Sash. It's probably Sash. Let's see how this one plays out here. No Dynamax coming out from him. Unless we just outspeed. Unless we just outspeed, which I, it's highly unlikely. So let's see what he does. Maybe he Dynamaxes and Tailwinds, but I just don't think he's Dynamaxing. Hopefully he goes for a lightning move and doesn't realize that we're lightning rod on the Togi Damaru, baby. The Togi Damaru. I love that Pokemon. I just love myself some Togi Damaru. Actually. Let's see what he goes for. Pikachu protect. Okay, so nice little protect by him. I'm guessing that thing. No, it's probably a light ball or whatever that, that electric ball thing. I'm going to fake out you. And I was thinking of going after the, the, the Thunders or the Tornadus, which could have been really good. I'm going to end up geysering here. And I'm, I'm going to bolt switch my Togi here. It's definitely my play. And off some huge damage. That's some huge damage. That is some huge damage. Actually, does Pikachu learn Lightning Rod? It might. You know, I'm just gonna Iron Head. Iron Head should KO, right? Does that thing learn Lightning Rod? I think it does learn Lightning Rod. Because Raichu does. You know, I'm gonna say this takes that thing out. This thing's super lightweight. It's super lightweight. And I'm just gonna not change up weather. And I'm going to take out you. It's going to be my play. I think it does learn Lightning Rod, so I don't think we're going to go into that. We still have our Focus Ash, which is awesome, so I really do not want to go into a Hailstorm and waste my Focus Ash either. And we're kind of sitting in a good position here. And I wonder what he... I, I do wonder what he's going for. So he did protect the Pikachu, which was kind of smart, but still, yo, Pikachu's such a lightweight. He's such a lightweight, and he's going to end up Dynamaxing the Pikachu, right? Is that a Pikachu Dynamax? Got to be Pikachu Dynamax. Of course it is, right? G-Max Peak? Oh, yo, listen up, guys. Just open up your ears. It's just so funny every time he does it. Peek! <laughs> he ends up Dynamaxing. He's gonna go for a Tailwind. He's gonna set up speed and hopefully he goes for an electric move. That'd be great. That could be great news. Let's see what he goes for. Goes for an overgrowth. I knew we had a grass move. I knew we had a grass move. And we should be able to soak that up all day. And that's gonna proc a policy, right? All day, yo. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Pikachu. Thank you, thank you very much, Pika Pikachu. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. It does no damage, but it procs our policy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magikarp luck right here, baby. All day. All day. Can this iron it? Can Togi do it? Togi! Togi tomorrow! Coming in clutch. Iron Head comes out there. Get out of here, Pikachu. Peek. <laughs> Wastes his Dynamax. Thing is, Overgrowth's gonna do big damage, but I think it was like a last ditch effort. He was just like, dude, we have to get rid of this Kyogre. Now we have Policy Proc. He does have Tailwind set up. He does have Dynamax. We're sitting in a great spot. Are we gonna see a Togi tomorrow? Slash Kyogre sweep here. Could potentially see it. Could potentially see it. But I even said this in the beginning of the video. I was just like, yo, we're going to be Dynamax and Kyogre a lot because it has weakness policy. And I'm loving it. It's so different. It's so different considering I'm so used to just using, or when I'm using Kyogre, just water spouting. And it kind of gets boring after a while. So Dynamax and this Pokemon is a lot of fun. Definitely a lot of fun. So I can Volt Switch now. Now I can Volt Switch. Actually, a follow me might come out here. We might go for a Thunder. You know what? I'm going to get rid of you. And I am going to go for a Lightning here. You know, Lightning's super effective on both ends. So if he goes for a Follow Me, which I think might come out here. No, he goes straight for a Water Spout. And Togi says, yo, that's the tastiest snack I ever had. That's the tastiest snack I ever had. We're going to be able to roll out into an Iron Head here. Oh, no. Dazzling comes out here first. It's a little rough. Oh, no. They have Tailwind. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. They have Tailwind. And my poor Togi goes down. 
my poor Togi goes down, which is all good. We have our Roman. We have really real. That's great. That's gonna go after Kyogre. Get on out my face, dude. Uh, get on out my face. Weakness policy. We got a crit. It was Kano and you anyway. This dude's probably like, oh, I'm only losing because you got a crit. Nah, son. Yo, we're weakness policy, Brock. It's Kyogre. It's Kyogre. He's just doing you dirty. He is just doing you dirty. Good old carp luck here. Carp, carp. Carp, carp, baby. We're gonna actually bring out. Who did I bring out? I'm just gonna bring out you. Because I can fake out and just go into a, another max lighting. Let's say GG's. Let's say G to the G's. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Actually, no, that is our last turn. That is our last sign max turn. But Thunder hits 100% of the time, which is just, just wonderful. It's just wonderful. Grass covers the battlefield. Our Dynamax is over. And it's over with for them. Winning record. Like I said, I feel I was feeling good today. I was just feeling in the Pokemon mood. Feeling like I can just like win some battles here. We're going to go into this Thunder. Super effective. And that should be GG's. That should be GG's. Battle was canceled. Let's get it. Toga tomorrow and weakness policy Kyogre is where it's at. I absolutely love this team. Super, super strong and great all around. Definitely a great change of pace from the normal Kyogre teams that we're used to seeing. Just like, you know, tailwinding or being Chewy Scarf and running Water Spout and just dominating the battles from there. But we got the Dynamax Kyogre a few times. Got to show off Toga tomorrow and got to use this team as a whole to show it off to its fullest potential. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today and I'll catch on the next one. Peace out, everybody.